Hello everyone, NatLabs here. Today we're going to be making a very simple 3D Godot platformer. Um, so let's get straight into it. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to click create and edit. After clicking that, uh, we're loaded up in the 3D scene by default. Over here you can click to get to the 3D scene. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click 3D scene over here. It adds a node 3D. This is a big change from Godot 3 if you're coming from there, which used to be a uh, spatial 3D. Now it's node 3D, which is really, it makes a lot more sense. We're just going to double click and save this as world. I'm going to save this into a source folder which just means where all my code is going to live. And this is the world, so that's pretty cool. Up here, you'll notice that we have toggle sunlight and toggle uh, in, in preview environment light. So when we run our game, it's going to look like this. I'm going to keep it like this just to make sure that we know we know what our game will look like. I'm going to start by adding a new scene and I'm going to click other node and I'm going to make it a static body, a static body 3D. And I'm going to add a collision shape. So I'm going to click the plus sign, not the link icon. I'm going to type in uh, collision shape. And I'm also going to go back up here, click static body. And I'm going to type in mesh instance. Okay. And I'm just going to say this is a platformer platform. And this is a collision shape. So I'm going to make this a cube. Um, you might be able to see, but now there's this cube over here uh, in a, like an aqua color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click seven on my numpad. If you don't have a numpad, you can just click on this Y and you can extend it. So I'm holding up control and alt at the same time. So snap it on both sides. So I'm going to just put it up to 10. And if you're wondering down here, you can see how far it is. So I'm going to just scale on the X and Z axis to 10. So this is 10 that way or it's nine. Now it's 10. Okay. Uh, so now we have like a platform and now I just want to put a mesh instance and I'm going to do the exact same thing, which I take on my box mesh and I'm going to click seven to go to the top. I'm going to click here and I'm just going to set the size to 10 and 10. So now we have a little platform and I'm going to save this as a platform scene. Okay. I'm going to go back to my world. I'm going to add platform and I'm going to zoom out and there's my platform. I'm going to control D to duplicate it. And there you go. I have a platform over there on the side. And I'm just going to drag this around and, you know, maybe put out a little bit of a tilt and, you know, put it down here. Now that we have the platform set up, I'm just going to click this plus icon to add a new scene. And now we're going to make the character and we're going to add a character body 3D. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click control A to add a new node to the character body 3D um, over here. And I'm just going to type in, uh, sorry, not static, but collision shape 3D. Okay. And I'm just going to put a sphere because our character is going to be a ball and our mesh instance i'm going to again control a to add a node and we're going to type, click sphere and that's our player setup uh, in terms of uh, visuals so i'm just going to um, double click to rename player and i'm just going to save player so now that i have my player all set up i'm going to go up here i'm going to click add script and i'm just going to click create okay we have a template on and inherits character body 3d i'm just going to click create and this will give us a basic movement for a first person shooter or a third person shooter which is totally fine um, we're going to obviously edit this because this is not what we want entirely. Um, so I'm going to go back up here to my world scene and I'm going to click on the world and I'm going to click this link icon to instantiate the player. So um, we instantiate the player. That means we make we reference this player and it's copied over here. Just drag it up a bit and I uh, have to add a camera. So I'm going to add the camera to the player itself. So again, I'm going to click the plus icon camera 3D. I'm going to click F to focus on the camera push it back and push it up a bit. Uh, I'm going to click after focus on it and I'm going to click control two. If you don't, uh, yeah, you, everyone can click control two, but if you don't want to, you can click view to viewports and then we can click this preview to see what the camera sees. So over here, I'm going to tilt it down a bit. So the ball is kind of centered and I'm going to go back to my world and yeah, everything's working. So I'm going to click select current. So F5 to run select current. And you can see that we have our player. So the player moves with arrow keys. You can see that it's moving, it's working, but it looks bad. That's because there's no light. So I'm going to control A to add a light to this world and uh, directional light. Uh, let's do a, a directional light, which is kind of like mimicking the sun. So we're just going to pull it up here. It doesn't really matter where it is. It just helps if it's up in the sky because that's where lights are. And you can know you can just rotate it downwards and enable shadows because why not? It looks better with shadows. And now that if we run the scene, you can see that we have our little ball walking around and rolling around. And that's all there is to this tutorial, to be honest. Customize this uh, first person shooter or this movement setup. It's very simple. Um, in fact, we can go over that very quickly if you'd like, but I'll make that a second video just to get the first part out of the way. <laughs> 